Good morning, y'all. This is an impromptu vlog because I really do not have anything much to do. But I miss y'all so much, okay? So even though I don't have anything planned, I miss y'all. So this is just going to be a quick little vlog of today. I'm trying to prop y'all up. But good morning. I am super duper tired. Last night, y'all, I couldn't go to sleep. And I didn't go to sleep until almost 1 o'clock. And then I woke up again at 2 o'clock. And then I just feel like even after that, I kept waking up. So I don't know what it was. But even today, it's like I can't lay in the bed and go back to sleep. But I just feel my eyes and my body tired. So I just was like, let me get out of bed. Maybe once I get some coffee or whatever. Today I'm going to get my nails done. I still have the heart nails on my hands. I don't know if I even showed y'all my heart nails or was vlogging during that time. I put up a YouTube short, but I don't think that I actually put up a, I don't show y'all in a video because I haven't put a video up in a long time. Honestly, y'all, because I have, I just been, you know, it just was like, it just wasn't, yeah, I just had too much going on. I'm looking around because I'm looking, what am I looking for? Everything is in front of me. I don't know. Anyway, so today is Friday. I told y'all before that I do have to go into the office now um, one day a week. So at first I was going Wednesdays and then I was like, no, I'm going to change it to Fridays because Fridays are just better for me. Even though it's like, I don't want to be in the office on Friday, but it just be too packed on Wednesdays. So Fridays is the perfect day for me and um the good thing about it though with my job i don't have to like i don't have a set schedule with my position i'm not in like a productivity environment i guess you could say um i'm kind of like on my own like i like on my own schedule so but my schedule that i you know try to do for work is 7 to 3 30. um if i have something to do then you know i'm kind of flexible around that but when you go into the office, what I do like about it is that we don't have to be there at a certain time in, in my position. Cause it's not like that all around. Um, but we don't have to be there at a certain time. So like they were telling us if, you know, if you know you live kind of a little bit far from the building, you can go when traffic die down and then you could just spend a couple of hours in the building. And then if you still have work that you need to catch up on, you can take your computer back home and work from home. So. I have a nail appointment at 11.15. So after my nail appointment is when I'm gonna go into the office. I'm gonna spend a couple of hours in there. Hopefully they do have these little rooms in, in, in the building to where, because it's like you don't have assigned cubicles. You just sit wherever is an open space, but you do have to reserve the space though. But usually on Fridays, it's not many people in there because people don't wanna go in there on Fridays. So. I really, I'm not even going to worry about reserving the space today, but they do have these rooms and they're called focus rooms where it's just a room where you're by yourself and you can sit in there and you can work because it's like a focus or it's it helping you focus. So hopefully I can get one of those rooms today because you can't reserve them. Like it's like first come first serve. Anyway, so it is now 828 in the morning. I want to catch up with y'all on a lot of different, well, I ain't going to say a lot of different things, but I just want to talk to y'all. Um, but right now I am about to take my shot of apple cider. Well, it's not, it's the all in one master tonic. I showed y'all this before y'all. I still am taking it. Now, let me tell y'all this. This is like my third bottle, but even though this is my third bottle, I have never been like fully consistent, like taking it daily with any of the bottles, right? It was like, I would be taking it two days, then stop for three days and take it for two days. Like, so it wasn't consistent. But this week, I've been taking it since, I want to say either Sunday or Monday. I want to say Sunday because I placed an order for it on, y'all, and that's the crazy part, y'all. Tell me why I placed the order for this on Sunday. Guess when it was delivered? Monday. They don't play with this shipping. Every single bottle I have gotten came with no more than two days from when you place the order and it's free shipping and handling. Mm -hmm. Love that. This is the first time that I've been taking it consistently. Y'all, I could tell the difference. Now I will say this, it's supposed to help with bloating. 
I don't feel like it's helping with that right now, but I can't fully blame this. I do think that something is off right now with my hormones because I've just been having different like symptoms. Like I've been cramping outside of my menstrual cycle. Sorry y'all, this is girl talk. If you a dude, sorry. <laughs> but I have been having cramping outside of my menstrual cycle and my breasts have been feeling like really like heavy and full and not sore to the point where it's sore to touch, but just like, I want to wear a sports bra, even though I don't have one on right now, but I want to wear a sports bra to kind of keep them compressed to me. Um, it's similar to after I had babies, like when you just don't want your breasts to be, but after you have babies, your breasts be hurting. See, these don't hurt. It's just an uncomfortable feeling. I can tell something going on. They feel like balloons with water in them. Like it's just, yeah, uncomfortable. And I think also it's making me bloat because, you know, that is a, another symptom of when your hormones are, you know, changing or whatever. Um, so I think that's what's going on right now with that. Um, so I've been having some bloating. So, yeah. But what I do notice that it's been helping with y'all is my cravings. Like, y'all, all this week, usually I struggle. I struggle really bad with cravings, especially at nighttime when I'm cooking food for the family and then I have to cook me something separate because they're not going to eat what I'm eating. But all this week, y'all, I have not had any problems. Haven't had no cravings. Haven't had no desire to eat anything bad. And I just been good all week. And it doesn't even feel like, you know how like when you're trying to eat right, it feels like you're trying, especially when it's not a habit. Like it doesn't come second nature. Right now, it just feels second nature to me. Like I don't want to eat bad. You get what I'm saying? So like yesterday, I fixed me a chicken Caesar salad wrap, which let me show y'all the, um, do not look, don't look in my refrigerator. Man, I use this, I bought this from Target. This is a Primo kitchen Caesar dressing and marinade made with avocado oil. Y'all, I am not using this anymore. This tore my stomach up. And the first day I thought, the first day I used it, cause I only used it twice so far. The first day I used it, I thought maybe it was just some medicine that I was, oh, speaking of medicine, I need to get my medicine from Walgreens. Remember I told y'all I've been taking that antifungal medicine for my foot? I need to go pick it up today. What time they open? I, I'm all over the place, Lord. Hold on. Nah, okay, cool. Um, So I'm gonna go pick that up. But, I thought it was because I was taking that medicine that maybe my stomach was just like, it's, it's, it felt like a pain. It wasn't like nausea. It felt like a pain. It just unsettled. Um, so I was like, because when I did the chicken Caesar salad wrap, it was nothing on that salad that I ate for the first time other than this. But I didn't think it was this. I'm like, this was supposed to be healthy, you know? So I was like, I don't know. I thought it was the medicine. Then the next day I ate another wrap, y'all. And literally, as soon as I got done eating it, stomach messed up again. And I was like, on the Caesar wrap, I had used um, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, tomatoes, chicken, of course, um, lettuce, and then the wrap. So all of those things are things that I'm not, I don't have no, yeah, it doesn't affect me in any type of way. So I know it's not that. This is the only thing that I use that is new and I don't know if it's just I have some type of maybe I don't my body does not mix with avocado oil because it's crazy y'all because let me see if I still have it up here I think I threw them away but I had these um I had these vitamins from the brand hum and they were called like flatter flatter me so they supposed to help with bloating but Every time I was, like one time I had took them, but I also had a salad kit. Like, you know those salad kits that come with the dressing inside of it and stuff? But this time I had got an avocado Caesar, right? So when I was taking that vitamin, I thought it messed my stomach up because that was the first time I took it, so I stopped taking it. I think it's something with this avocado oil, y'all. It gotta be, because this, it, like I said, it says made with avocado oil. It, it, it's tearing my stomach up. So I'm not gonna use that no more, because I don't know what's going on with that. I, I don't know. Anyway, y'all know I poured in a shot glass. I keep a shot glass in the fridge for this. Let me shake it up real good, though. 
The taste is still nasty, and you are supposed to swish this around in your mouth, but I don't do that, y'all. My teeth are too sensitive for that, so I just swallow it. Listen, it's been doing the job because I have not been craving nothing. Well, I did also pray to God and ask him to remove my cravings, so, you know, it's either God or this. Maybe both, I don't know, but cheers. Oh. Let me not try. <laughs> If you get this, I definitely recommend keeping it cold. When I was drinking it like um, room temperature, that's what was making me gag and stuff. So now I'm going to go brush my teeth, y'all, because I've been talking to y'all. Breath stank. I mean, literally, I just rolled out of bed. Speaking of brushing my teeth, y'all, have y'all seen this on TikTok? It literally was going viral. Every time you turn around, you see an ad about it some. Wow. Okay. This is pulling oil. So it's supposed to be good for like, if you have any type of cavities or just gingivitis, or you want to just whiten your teeth, it's supposed to help with that like really well. Um, so I'm going to try it because, you know, naturally, let me just put y'all all in my business right quick. So my teeth, as y'all can see, like, thankfully my teeth are straight. I never had braces, Invisalign, nothing like that. My teeth are just naturally like that. But I have noticed, and I don't know if y'all can even tell, like I've been having a little discoloring and probably because of coffee that I've been drinking. So my teeth need to be white. And I don't have an appointment to go get them um, clean from the dentist until June. Like they were booked. So I don't have no appointment until June. Um, but I do have cavities. Uh, I got cavity fillings all in my mouth. I mean, on it's on both sides, but this side is the only side where I have silver fillings. On this side, I have like my natural tooth color. Um, and they offered to change it, but I think at that time I was just being cheap because I think I had to pay like maybe $200 for them to change it. And I was like, baby, listen, no, nobody should be in my mouth like that anyway. But now, <laughs> since I like use my mouth a lot to talk on camera and stuff like that, I don't like how it looks. So I'm a bitch. I'm gonna get that changed out this year. With me having sensitivity and stuff like that, and you know, I have been having a little bit of tooth pain, which hopefully is not a cavity. I don't know yet until I go to a dentist in June. But I'm trying to see if this helps. So we're gonna do this, read the instructions, because I never did it before. We're gonna go upstairs. Oh, and also I bought some. I'm gonna show y'all when we get in the bathroom. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So I'm about to do the tooth puller. Let me see, let me see directions. Shake well, place 10 to 15 milliliters of Guru Nanda pooling oil in mouth. Gently swish between teeth for at least two minutes. Try to work up to 10 minutes per use. Spit out and rinse mouth thoroughly with water. Do not swallow. Always brush your teeth after using pooling oil. If spilled on fabrics, clean immediately to avoid staining. Oh, it comes off of the stuff. So this is the bottle. It is flavored um coconut and mint. So that's nice. Oh, it comes with a toothbrush. Isn't that so sweet of them? And it comes with the uh tongue cleaner. Okay, cool. So shape well. Okay. And then we're gonna start out with 10. You know what? Let's just, because 15 is, well, let me see if we can just go 15. Okay. okay. So we're at 15. Let me set a timer. It don't smell bad. It smells like mint. <laughs> let me set a timer. it into this because when I was looking online it said spit into a cup instead of pouring down your sink because it can close your sink up I will say the consistency kind of hit me like 
as a surprise when I put it in my mouth. It's like, mm, because it's like, it's not Listerine. Because it's not the consistency of Listerine. It's a little bit thicker. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit of shocker, but it wasn't anything crazy. Also, two minutes to me was long enough. So 10 minutes is crazy. But I'm about to brush my teeth. Okay, we're done with that. Um, I wanted to show y'all two things also. First things first. I still have my so. Oh, wait, I don't even think I showed y'all my sewing. In. My hair look a mess right now, y'all. Look at that, yeah. <laughs> because, okay, let me show you this first. So y'all know I be telling y'all that I have bad, um, don't look at my real hair, y'all. I'm cutting it off, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> I told y'all that I have bad, like, I don't know what it is, but bad dandruff. I really think it's like sobriety. I don't know. It's bad. But I was on TikTok. Y'all, TikTok will have you buying a little bit of everything. I was on TikTok, right? And this lady, how she started using this from the brand The Ordinary, which this is, can y'all see it? It is glycolic acid, 7% exfoliate and toner. And she said that she puts this on a Q-tip and just rub it on her problem areas. So the other day, I didn't put it on a Q-tip because it does come in like a squeeze bottle. I just poured it on my scalp. And y'all, I must say, like I haven't put anything on my hair in like two days. And usually it'd be really bad. Cause like, see, like y'all see, y'all see how white my scalp is right there. I haven't washed my hair. Um, I haven't, I mean, I have I didn't put any right there. I just put any like around here because I was having a lot of problem areas around my edges. But now like it's not, I'm having y'all all in my head y'all. But anyway, I was showing y'all that because if you have problems with it, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. But y'all know that I've been trying to, um, find things that work for my scalp because it's something that I've been dealing with ever since I had Noelle, which was my second pregnancy. I just been having like, this has been a problem that I've been having really bad. Um, but it says, I, I don't think it's even for your scalp because it says apply once daily, ideally in the evening, apply to the face and neck using a cotton pad or fingers. Do not rinse off. So, what I think that it does, and I probably need to use it on my neck because y'all see I have a little darkness on my neck. Because I did see somebody um, under the TikTok comment saying that they use it for their underarms. So, their underarms won't be dark. So, I think I'm going to try it for that too, y'all. I'm going to have to look up especially what it's for. Because do y'all see this mark right here? That's an eczema mark. So I'm trying to, I'm gonna have to see what it's for. If it's for dark spots, y'all, I'm about to be. <laughs> yes, honey. So I bought this from Target. It was only like $7 or something. Ordinary is really good when it comes down to um affordable, affordable things. I also bought a miniature version of the Living Proof Perfect Day, Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo, Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. So I'm going to try this instead of washing my hair because I just don't feel like it. Shake can extremely it's, mm, shake can extremely well for maximum cleaning. Hold can six to ten inches away from dirty dry dirty hair. Section and apply product in a sweeping motion. Wait thirty seconds. Remove powder by massaging and shaking at roots of fingers or brush. Apply more as needed. So I really bought it not more so for my hair but for the tracks. Because I feel like they just, you know what I'm saying? It was just like getting a little stiff. So we're going to see how this does. Because I really never use dry shampoo. Let me know if you have. But I also need to do something with my hair. Because um, the twins dad, he actually... Good Lord, this white stuff. Hopefully this white stuff come out. I mean, they said they get rid of the white stuff. But... Shaking it or massaging. The twins dad, so I don't know if y'all remember when I had went to this um this birthday party for his grandmother. A birthday party where we had to wear like royal blue and 
yeah, royal blue was the colors. And the twin, you know, we got the twins dress and stuff for it. But it was his grandma, which is the twins' great grandma, uh, 86th birthday party. And unfortunately, she passed away. Her funeral is tomorrow. He took Khalil with him, so I just have to pick up Kehlani. And I have to pick up my 13-year-old because my um, nine-year-old goes with his dad on the weekends. But tomorrow, I have to go to that funeral. So I definitely have to do something with my hair and also for work today. You know, can't be out there looking crazy. In corporate America, we got on you, we got on care. <laughs> but, um, so that's the plan, y'all. I'm going to do my hair. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to let this <clears throat> kind of dry down. But it does how it feels. It just feel, um, I wouldn't say that it feels like, I just don't think that there's anything like putting water to your hair and washing it. But I will say it doesn't feel as stiff as it was feeling. But my hair was not this poofy. Like my actual hair, y'all, was not this poofy. It's from using this because I used this the other day and I just let it sit. So... I just need to wash my hair, y'all. Cause my hair is just. That's why I just want to cut my hair and start over because this this is just I don't understand why my hair is like this. Like, what is wrong? And I'm assuming it definitely has to do with something with the eczema because I have eczema. And I'm like, you know, your scalp is skin too. But it's like, don't nobody want to be walking around and you got danger falling from your dig on hair. We're going to go fix some breakfast right quick. And then we're going to come. Let me wash my hands right quick. Y'all know I wash my hands. And then we're going to go sit and have some coffee and talk a little bit because I really want to talk to y'all about Love is Blind because I don't know if y'all been watching it but it, it has been crazy y'all and you know just to catch up a little bit even though we've been talking this whole time but like I said this is an impromptu video so I'm going to be doing just taking y'all along my day with me and what I'm doing which is this. <laughs> I'm saying Drewski never even spoke on her uh, her skin color, but the fans are accusing him of being colorist for his comments. Some are even what? saying that <laughs> some are even saying that even though he didn't speak about her color, his comments feed into the belief that black women are not as feminine as women of other races. Had nothing to do. That's why I be calling people bitter black bitches. I do not understand that. Because it, it was all the black women saying it. I don't understand how we even got that narrative out of that. Yeah, it, yeah, it just, sounded like he was misgendering her, if anything. He was saying she all women, women. I'm talking about biological women and they doing this video. So, yeah, that's that. I saw the video and she was, she was, and that's why bitches be clowns. That's just what it is. And that's the Jess for the mess for the first hour. Thank you, Jess. International woman. Anything else. If you don't have angles, it's gonna be boring to watch. Add some music, spice it up, make it something that you would watch. You gotta just press record with video live. And people, so on the count of three, y'all gonna say it with as much energy as you can, okay? All right, y'all ready? One, two, three. What's to the camera and I'm like honey this is not a vlog this is a video and that's fine but you have to know the difference it's through your lens it's through your perspective so we're gonna get into more of that so why vlog why vlog all right the first thing is that it's built it helps you build connection so my whole channel and you saw my cute curated backdrop I always look we're done 
I've been trying to wrap this shit up for what? Three weeks now? I'm like, there's nothing else Tori can tell us that's gonna shock us. All right? So go ahead. Don't tag me in it. Don't say I'm watching. No, I'm not watching it. I can't do this for y'all. I need to heal, okay? If a day late and a dollar short was a person, it would be these people right here. Latoya, her kids, and Tasha Pat. Because we don't care no more. Tasha, I'm talking about this season two. No, Tasha, we're on like season 10. Stop trying to make that happen. It's never going to happen. We already sat here for two hours and 39 minutes and watched Legion lie to us on our own devices. Tell us folk tales and all kinds of stuff. We don't care no more. We are done. What was Latoya three weeks ago? She's talking about. Oh, I'm trying to heal. Now we're trying to heal. And exhale. We can't take no more. Okay, so let's talk while I'm eating my breakfast. So let me see what i so I know I've been gone for a while. We're not just gonna talk about where I've been at, but that's just one of the things we're gonna talk about. But I know I've been gone for a while. I told y'all before that, you know, I was just kind of busy as far as like, <sighs> having to solo um, take care of the twins by myself while their dad was doing some work. But, that's over now so i'm grateful for that um i know i've been telling y'all for a while that i was going to create their own channel so if you don't know i have created their own channel i have uploaded videos i've been uploading so their videos are going to go up there on that channel every tuesday um i talked about in that one that video that khalil was diagnosed with autism he went to go get tested from a developmental pediatric if you're new here, Khalil is my twin toddler, my boy twin toddler. And that day he had a speech therapy evaluation and I wanted to include that clip. So that's why that video went up on Wednesday. Anyway, Tuesdays is the days that I'm going to upload long form content on that, on that channel. And then outside of that, I'm gonna be uploading YouTube shorts. Um, so, if you just love to support me, whether you want to watch their videos or not, you know, I will appreciate it if you watch their videos, but if you just love to support me, please go subscribe. I'll put it up. I think it's going to be on this side, I want to say. If you just love to support me, please go subscribe because I am trying to get that channel monetized as soon as possible. I have to have 1,000 subscribers <clears throat> and 4,000 watch hours. Um, or 10 million views on shorts in total. So that's the goal for that. You know, I do feel like once I started their channel and I started uploading content up there, it just sparked a creative streak in me, which is why I'm picking up this camera right now. Because I feel like it was on my heart to do it for so long, but I just was nervous about doing it. I guess fearful because I didn't know what was going to come of it. So it kind of prevented me from doing it, but I feel like being that I didn't do it, that was making me, you know, just not be in a comfortable space. So now I've been uploading content about that. So far I've uploaded two videos. The first one was meet the twins and then I answer like commonly asked questions about twins. And then the second one was um, getting Khalil tested for autism. And I have some YouTube shorts up. So that's that. Um, so I'm really excited about that, you guys. I also created another YouTube channel. Now, this one is just more so for fun. So y'all know, like, when Halloween came around or even, like, Thanksgiving or Christmas, not me spitting my food, I like to make drinks. But it's, like, I like to make drinks or experiment with things that I saw on Pinterest. So I made an Instagram page called um, Tease Me Aesthetically. And it's pretty much just gonna be a channel where I just upload like short form videos of me trying, whether it's new drinks, new meals, new things around the house, but just like 
things that like when you go on Pinterest, because I'm a Pinterest girl, I like scrolling on Pinterest and just seeing what they have up there. And I'd be like, oh, that's cute. Let me save this pin so I could try later. And I never get to it, right? But I want to start trying it and I want to like take people through the process of me doing it firsthand because I never consider myself an aesthetically pleasing girl. You know what I'm saying? You know how you have those some of some influencers or just some people you look at and you look at them and you be like, oh, I just love your whole like vibe. I love your whole look. I love your whole, how you put yourself together. And I just felt like I never was that. I'm that girl that likes to wear my bonnet. I'll go to the store with a scarf on real quick if I just need to go get some cheese milk, something real quick. Like, it's just not me. And I feel like for the longest, I was trying to get to the point where it's like, I take pride in just how I look, which I still am trying to take pride in how I look going out. But I'm just not that girl. Like, I don't care. Like, I literally, I ain't just started getting my nails done. But, y'all, for the longest growing up, I was not a girly girl. I didn't care about getting my nails done. I used to bite my nails. Like, now, I, the only reason why I feel like I get my nails done is so I won't bite my nails. Because if I don't have nails on, like, I can't bite through acrylic. But if I just have my regular nails, I'm going to bite them. So, yeah, it's just like, I just wanted to create a page of where... I'm just trying things that I feel like is pretty, drinks that's pretty, or whatever like that. So if you want to um, follow me there or subscribe to the YouTube channel there, I'll link that below. I know y'all like goodness event. You you create and this is like y'all. Honestly, I'm to the point where I'm doing anything that comes to my mind whether I'm fearful or not, whether I feel like people are gonna judge me or not, whether I feel like I'm exposing myself or not, because I feel like I'm to the point where my way isn't working. And that's why I feel like I was with this channel. Like my way is not working. Your way is not working. Like you wanna keep uploading vlogs, which ironically that's what I'm filming right now, but this is just an impromptu. But you wanna keep filming vlogs, but no one knows you. <laughs> So it's like, your your way is not working. And the things that I see for myself and for my family and for my kids, I have to do whatever is coming to my mind because I truly do feel like that God put these things in your mind for a reason. So I'm just doing this really to tease me aesthetically for me, but I'm pretty sure somebody going to enjoy it. So St. Patrick's Day is March 17th, I think. I found this on Pinterest. This is like a Lucky Charms shot. And I'm gonna try it and put it up there. That's gonna be one of my first videos, I believe. Because when I was looking at the stuff that I had to get, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out where I can get it from. Cause it was like creme de cacao, creme de menthe, and white chocolate liqueur. What? Honestly, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do it because it's like when I see stuff like that, it makes me not want to do it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna actually film the process of me doing it and even showing my errors and me struggling because like I said, this is not something, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, how did she, you know, oh, she did this and I just can't do it like her. Like, no, you. if I can do it, you can do it because I'm not that girl, okay? I am that girl, but I'm not that girl. You get what I'm saying? You feeling me? Yeah. So, all the avenues in the description box so you could just easily click or whatever. But y'all, seriously, if you just want to support me, like I said before, just like the video. If you're watching this video, like stop. Like it right now. It's literally free. It's literally free. Okay? Like the video. That helps you to push the video out. What else? I did gain some weight. I gained some weight, y'all. I really was not even in a space to, like, I feel like I was kind of like in a transitional period of where I just was going through so much. I mean, it's only the beginning of March and I feel like 2024 came in with a bang, honey. Like, I feel like everything was just falling apart and I just was not in that space to be worried about trying to eat right. Like, I was worried about it, but I wasn't, it's like, trying to do nothing about it. Like, I would try, I would say I would try, but I really wasn't, you know? So, I gained about 10 pounds, but we're back on track. We're going to lose those 10 pounds. There is a um, fitness challenge coming up on March the 18th that the girl that I was doing her fitness challenge before, her name is Chanel, um, 
She's having another fitness challenge starting March the 18th. It's for six weeks. It's called the Sculpt and Tone Challenge. So I'm gonna do that. As far as Khalil diagnosis, we're okay about it. I was a little sad at first, but I feel like it was more so because like the label that was put on him, like he's autistic. Um, but when I just looked past that and realized that he's still like my sweet, precious little boy that I love so much and that he's going to get through this, I was good. So I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You know, I cried my little tears, but I'm good. I'm getting him the help that he needs. And that's all that matters. I'm glad that I'm in the space mentally of where I'm able to provide a healthy environment for my kids to where they can get the help that they need and they're well taken care of. The other kids are doing well. I'm getting on my last nerve, honey. Okay. They good though. Um, I don't know what days I want to upload videos on this channel because... I feel like that was part of the problem. Like me trying to stick to uploading twice a week and really not knowing what I wanted to upload and what I wanted to do and things like that. I feel like the creativity is coming to me so easily with the Twitch channel because it's not more so focused on me. You know what I'm saying? It's focused on them. And I feel like with this channel being that it's so focused on me, I feel like we are our biggest critics and I feel like that's where I'm hitting a roadblock. So I'm just trying to get through that. But I know it's people up here that support me and love me and want to see me. So it's like, I don't want to keep leaving y'all hanging because I feel bad, y'all. All right, battery is on 26%. So let me get to talking about Love is Blind, y'all. If y'all have not watched Love is Blind, first of all, it is a shit show, okay? <laughs> um, It is crazy. So... If you don't know what Love is Blind is, y'all, I really don't have no time to go into detail uh, detail for detail about what it is. But it's pretty much these people that go on the show, they can't see each other. They are in these, like, pods, which are these little rooms where they can communicate back and forth with each other, men and women. But they're not, they can't see each other. So the only time they see each other is when they actually decide to narrow it down to one person and they propose to that person. And then they have to be engaged I think for like four weeks, but like once they make it out of the pods, they're engaged, they go on a vacation, and then after their vacation, they go and live together. Um, and that's where everything falls to shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the people up on the on the screen so y'all can know. Let me put over so y'all can know who I'm talking about. If you don't like when people talk when they eat, baby, I know I'm triggering y'all. Well, listen, honey, I gotta get this out. Jimmy! Chelsea and Jessica. That whole love triangle was a mess, honey. First of all, Jessica is a baddie. Okay, that girl is so fine. She is, a, my nose running, y'all. My nose stay running. But Jessica is a baddie, y'all. She is a baddie. She was, she really wanted to be with Jimmy, but Jimmy did not want to be with her. And I feel like it was because Jessica is one of the first people on the show that actually, like, between every season that has had a child. So, I think her daughter is 10. And he just, he she didn't tell him that right away. So, he was not a fan of that. Like, when he found out that, he was just like, uh, -uh. I feel like ever since, like, it was always between Jessica and Chelsea. But when Jessica told him that she had a child, she, he was like, I feel like from then he had a wall up, like, I'm going to just go with Chelsea because, y'all, Chelsea had a nerve to tell this man that she he looked she look like Megan Fox. What? <laughs> like, now, granted, let me give her this. From the nose up to me, yes, she does resemble Megan Fox. But I don't think people understand how much your mouthpiece plays a part in how you look, baby. And that chin... That's where the Megan Fox, she lost me at the Megan Fox. Like, and the fact that this show is Love is Blind and you're telling a man that you look like Megan Fox, now he got this image of you in his head and this man thinking he about to be, get out the pies and see Megan Fox and he not. So, Chelsea though had two options. She had another dude named Trevor and then she had Jimmy. I feel like the only reason why she picked Jimmy, honestly, was because... Of course, 
Chelsea knew how Jessica looked because the women can see each other, the men can see each other, but they can't see the opposite sex. So I feel like that Chelsea looked at Jessica and was like, this is like, this girl is fine as hell. And the fact that the same person that she wants so bad wants me and doesn't want her, I feel like that's why she ran with Jimmy. I feel, I, I really feel like that's the only reason. But the moment they got out the pods, I feel like she didn't think about that part because I feel like that's where a lot of her insecurities start coming in there. I felt bad for Jimmy. I felt bad for Jimmy. I kept telling him, run through the screen, run. You need to run, <laughs> Like, run, because that woman was crazy. Like, I feel like her insecurities kept getting in the way. It was like, she was starting arguments with him over the stupidest stuff. Like one of the arguments they had was she was upset about the fact that he went out one night for one hour. And she even said he, he went out for one hour, but she was like, I told you before, I don't want nobody to go out and yada, yada, yada. And he was like, I went out for one hour. What is the issue? And then she was like, and I heard that when you was out, you was with Jessica. But you can even tell when she said that, she didn't even have confidence in her tone. I feel like she was just fishing to see if he really was with Jessica because I truly feel like that she is intimidated by Jessica because she knows Jessica is a baddie. And you know, I'm not trying to put Chelsea down as a person, but she, 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 y'all see the material. Okay. Um, that's what I'm saying on that. I also feel like that whenever they had arguments, it's like Jimmy was like calling her bluff and she was just so like hostile. Like I'm not finished. I'm not finished talking. And let me say what I'm going to say. But the moment he said, he didn't want to go to the altar or he was thinking about breaking up with her. That's when she decided to pipe down. And then y'all, let me tell y'all, I don't think I could put it on the screen y'all, but when they went on vacation, right? The girls was talking about their man's, um, oh, I shouldn't even say that. They were talking about their man private areas. And Chelsea had a nerve to say, oh my goodness, it's so big. It's like a tree trunk. Now, I don't think she knew that we saw him in his underwear when he was getting in that bed. But baby, it was not giving tree trunk. It was not giving that. <laughs> so it's like, I just feel like that Chelsea just really, really, really wanted this experience and, and wanted it to make it seem like that it was better than what it was. Because she just did not want to accept the fact that y'all just was not a match. Okay. So Jessica, I mean, Jimmy left her. And hold on, I don't want to go to the office, right? So then, let's talk about the next couple. Brittany and Kenneth. I heard that's his name. At first, I was rooting for them so much because I felt like that they were so into each other. I felt like that Brittany was such a sweetheart, and I feel like she is such a sweetheart. And I felt like Kenneth was such a good guy. And now I'm like, I don't know what was up with him. But they got out that pause, and when they went into the vacation, I feel like when AD, so AD, I'm gonna put her picture on the screen. But AD was talking to him about like black love, and like, do you think being with her that she would be able to raise black kids, and da 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 da. And I feel like that kind of deterred him from wanting to be with Britney because that was his first time being with somebody white and vice versa. Like that was Britney's first time being with somebody black. And it just started getting to the point where there was like awkward silences. And it just seemed like they weren't vibing with each other. Like it, they just were not vibing at all. And they did decide to wait until um, marriage to have sex. So they were not intimate with each other at all. But Britney brought, brought up a good point And she was saying, even though we decided to not be intimate, I feel like that the desire to even be intimate with him was not there. And it seemed like once they actually got into the houses and they were living together, Kenneth was just always on his phone. Always on his phone, on his phone, on his phone, on his phone. And when they decided to be done with each other, like, you know, Brittany brought his, her concerns to him and Kenneth was like, the desire is not there for you because it's there for me. And I'm like, is it all? Because a lot of the times he was on his phone. Like he was just on his phone. He's a principal, but he he was saying that he was just trying to make sure the, the school is intact. And I'm like, baby, you gotta be on your phone that much to make sure the school is intact. You should have had them affairs in order before you went on Love is Blind, honey. You know, people on social media was saying that they think that he a little, you know, rainbow. But I don't know. 
I don't know. But they done. They ain't making it to the Arsenal. Then we got Clay and AD. Y'all, first of all, AD is a pretty girl. But I feel like majority of the show, her body was just sexualized because she got a banging body. I feel like her body was sexualized a lot. I don't feel like that Clay was attracted to her. I feel like he was attracted to her body because a lot of the times that's what he would talk about, like, or compliment her on. Or, like, if he was saying that she looked nice, I feel like it was more so, like, just conversation. You know, like, you out on the street and you see somebody be like, oh, you look nice. And Clay kept bringing up a lot of the time. For one, you know, I love that AD has awareness of her issues. But what I will say is, in the beginning, she was saying that when she see red flags with men, she just paint her nails red to match. And I'm like, you know, I feel like we all have been there where we have seen red flags with men and we just ignore them. But it's so important to not ignore them because eventually it's going to come to a head and then you're going to have to face it. Like, you're not going to be able to ignore it. So one of the things that I didn't like Clay that kept talking about is that he kept talking about that he was scared that he was going to cheat on her. And my thing is, I'm like, does Clay realize that he has the ability to cheat? It's not like somebody is forcing him to cheat. You have that power to cheat or not cheat. And the fact that you keep telling this woman before y'all even get married that you're scared that you're going to cheat on her. Y'all hear that? That's AD needing to run. Okay, because ain't no man gonna sit here and keep telling me I'm so scared I'm gonna cheat on you, baby. You're gonna cheat on me if you're so scared. Because it, who who sits there and be scared about cheating on somebody? I don't understand that. But you know, I really feel like that Clay really has a lot of childhood trauma because he said that his mom, I mean his dad cheated on his mom. His dad used to take him with him to cheat on his mom. And I do truly feel like that we are a product of our environment and. You have some kids that follow the same traits as their parents, and then you have some kids that see that they don't like the path that their parents went down, and they want to do something differently. And in this instance, I feel like that Clay is really struggling to follow the opposite path of his dad. And then he started comparing. He was like, everybody that he looked up to as far as men, Will Smith, Diddy. That's where you lost to me, honey. Because it's like, why are you looking up to celebrities as men, you don't know what these men is doing, and we just heard about what came out with. I mean, with Diddy. So, what I didn't like was he made it seem like all this time that he was gonna go through it, that he was, you know, ready for marriage, and that he was just gonna fight through this and stuff like that. And then you make it all the way to the altar, and then you tell this girl no. But one thing I did not like that AD said, she was like, I will follow this man off of a cliff with no parachute and know that he will catch me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that about wraps it up. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's talk about Laura and Jeremy. That's the last couple I'm going to talk about because my camera on 4% and the other couples, they were born to me. Laura and Jeremy, Laura was a firecracker, y'all. She was a firecracker. But what I don't like is that Jeremy, for, for one, Jeremy and Laura, I don't feel like that they were a match. And for one, I feel like Jeremy, in what world makes you feel like, so when they were in the pods, Jeremy had somebody that he turned down for Laura and that girl name was Sarah Ann. When they got out of the pod, Sarah Ann hopped in his DM and was like, thank you for the experiment. La, 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 la. Pretty much trying to slide her way up in there. So he just liked the message. And then he went out one night and he claimed that he saw her there. They ended up having a conversation. They were sitting in the parking lot until like, I don't know what time, but like, like crazy. I was in the morning. I want to say like four or something. And he didn't get into the house in like five or six. He took her home and like, he started sharing his location with Laura, but I don't know what he did because Laura was like, I saw where you was at. I checked your location. I don't know if he felt like, oh, she's sleep. Let me share my location. So she won't think I was doing anything, but she's not going to check it because she's sleep. But she checked that location and saw that she was, he was at Sarah Ann house, but he claimed that she, he just dropped Sarah Ann off. So 
he just really like I, I feel like that he ha like was still entertaining Sarah Ann and Laura was not going for it Laura told that man to go kick rocks with bare feet honey and um I don't think that Sarah Ann like as a woman it's like why are you in his DMs trying to slide your way in there and you know he just got engaged and but the way that ad so ad said something to sarah Ann, and let me tell you ad read her honey the way she read her she read her in the most polite but belittling way it's pretty much telling her you were wrong it's not your place to be in his dms or trying to talk to him what do y'all have to talk about he didn't choose you so there's nothing to talk about but word on the street is now that sarah Ann and jeremy is together so the only people that made it to the altar and actually said yes was Amy and baby, I don't even know the man's name. I'm sorry to that man and my Kiki Palmer voice. I don't even know his name, but yeah, they the only ones that made it to the altar. So that's my recap on Love is Blind. I, the reunion is gonna come on Wednesday and I can't wait because I need to see what it said because AD said, I am not gonna be dealing with uh, Clay no more. He said no and Keep your no boo boo. Okay. Hey, uh, okay. So I'm in the car now. Obviously. What I'm gonna do is oh I was able to curl my hair, y'all. I don't know if Dang, it's already on eleven percent. I just put the dag on battery in there. I'm about to go get my medicine and then I'm, I need to go get gas and then we're going to go to the nail salon. Sometimes my nail tech isn't like ready right when I get there I do sometimes have to wait a little bit but nothing crazy but yeah I do be having to wait a little bit that's actually why I stopped going to my other nail tech because she I used to always be the first appointment of the day y'all no lie she used to always have me wait in over an hour because she was not there it's not like she just had another client she just wasn't there but I'm about to get my medicine real quick my car is junky I know they'd be like Lord. how can I help you hi I'm picking up for Yvette Harris uh, 7893 just a moment alright 233 okay you too she's so busy looking at what I'm doing girl give me my medicine okay, cause you know summertime about to come around baby I'm trying to have these toes out white toenails me okay let me pump this gas y'all i'm gonna empty my trash from here <clears throat> so i'm at work now i had to go all over the world to try to find one of those rooms that i was telling y'all about because they had every somebody was in each one of them but i finally found something and it's like in a nice little cut too. But I'm definitely about to eat my food. But I wanted to show y'all my nails. Okay, before I show y'all my nails, let me just say I really don't like them. Not too much. Like when I was getting them done, I was kind of cringing because I'm like, I really don't like it. But I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all tell me if y'all like it. And then I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't like it. So here's my nails right here, y'all. So I show, I don't, I'm gonna put y'all the inspo pick of what I was going for. The reason why I don't like it is because I feel like the gold is just too brassy. I feel like the gold is too brassy. I feel like it should have been more of a champagne color. Now like this nail, okay, it's fine. I can see the marble, I can see the green, cause I really wanted green for St. Patrick's Day. But it's like when you start getting to the ones that got the, this thing going on, it's just too much. Here's my food right here. It looks disgusting. I need to stir it up. Hold on. It's still a little disgusting, but I promise you, it's actually good. Not me making a mess, but. Well, I'm not even gonna say it's good. It's eatable. It's not something that I would be like, oh, I'm craving that. I don't know how it may have taste um, at Panera Bread, like fresh. Cause I've never even got anything like this from Panera Bread. Usually I have always gotten their salads. But yeah, so I'm about to eat. You know what the crazy part is? Like I said, like I'm hungry, but I'm not like craving anything. Like it's not like a situation where 
it's do or die. Like I'm gonna eat anything. Like I still was intentional with making sure I brought something that was healthy. So I've been doing good. I'm proud of myself, honestly. Cause baby, them cravings used to be crazy. But the time is 2.49 p.m. I have to get the kids by 6. So like I was telling y'all earlier, today I only have to get Khalil. I mean, not Khalil. Kehlani and Elijah. But I do need... Y'all do not let me forget that I need laundry detergent. Because I literally have like four piles of clothes in my room that need to be washed. But I cannot wash them because we have no laundry detergent. And then I have a laundry room full of clothes that need to be folded because I washed all of the kids clothes so I gotta do that when I get home hopefully I still have energy to do so but I'm gonna leave here around it's 2 50 now I'm gonna leave here probably around five so yeah I'm gonna read my devotional though um and do a little planning some more because I did plan out all of the content for next week for the twins and I want to do the week after that also so I can see what I need to prep like if it's anything that I can prep next week for the week after that you know to make my life easier I also need to write down some content ideas for y'all for this channel so yeah, I'm going to just be sitting, but I'm going to do my work first. I'm going to do my work. And then once I'm done with that. Yeah. Alright y'all, I left work and I'm in Target. And laundry detergent thanks for reminding me you guys now i'm about to well i don't even know if they have i need some pull-ups in here but i need the like small bag and then why is these 34 dollars oh i mean it is kind of a big box good gracious <sighs> i'm so hesitant because when i go to bj's I literally get a box, a box bigger than this. It'd be like, it has a hundred and something in it. And it'd be like $42. And I always have a $5 discount with BJ's. I'm about to get one of these for real, for real. Some up and up. Let me see. Oh, easy open size. Okay, yeah, we about to get these. I don't know how they gonna do, but we gonna see, honey. Okay, so I did just want to find a quick outfit to get her for tomorrow because she really do. They, I need to go shopping for them, but for today, I just need a quick little outfit for her to wear tomorrow. So these are cute. What is that, a crop top or something? Oh, this is cute too. And it's a little set with the shorts. That is so cute. Do it's supposed to come with the shorts because oh I have to get this. This is so okay. And $18. Look at this, y'all. This would be so perfect for this is perfect for um spring. Oh look at the little dresses. My baby love her some dresses, honey. She love wearing a dress to sleep. But they $18 too, so. Oh, look at that for Khalil. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Target got some good stuff today. Sometimes I be coming in here and they got shit. So I found this shirt that said you are magic with some cute tights. But look at these rain boots, y'all. Perfect. But they are a size seven. And she is <clears throat> going into an eight. So I don't know. I'm gonna get them. And if she can't fit them up, you know, of course I'm gonna bring them back. Because like today they had me come in there and buy some new um, shoes because her feet was hurting. So, about to eat my meal prep. Don't look at my legs. My legs actually. I'm about to eat my meal prep and then I'm gonna start 
cleaning up. I don't know if I could do it all night, y'all. I'm tired. Sitting in that traffic took up too much time, honey. But as you can see, it's just stuff. Don't look at my feet. As you can see, it's just stuff all over the floor. Twins pulling out stuff. Shoes, just shoes, shoes. So I just need to clean this. I don't have time to fight with her. I need to grease her hair. I'm gonna take out her hair. Um, I'm gonna take out her hair Sunday. But for now, since she's going with me tomorrow, and because it just need to be greased anyway, I'm gonna put this oil on her hair. And, um, you know, just massage her scalp a little bit. Well, massage it into her scalp. So she can have some oil. Cause her hair just look dry. Oh, sorry. Her hair just look dry. But I did manage to get everything up off the floor downstairs with the help of Kaylani. She cleaned up her toys. And um, I didn't do the laundry though, y'all. I put a load in the washer. But as far as folding anything, mm -mm, that didn't happen. Um, I'm using the Curls brand. Blueberry and mint scalp treatment. I do like it. It doesn't work for me because you know I told y'all earlier, like it's not a lot of things that do work for me. But I do like it. I like how it make your scalp feel all tingly and fresh. But she um I wish I knew how to like am I dripping oil on her? Lord help me. So anyway. I'm gonna just scalp her hair right quick, y'all. Put on traders. Let her play the tablet. And yeah. And yes, I'm using a shirt to wipe my hands. Okay. Let's see Kaylani outfit. So y'all see what I was talking about as far as her hair, her edges, y'all. She just need her hair taken out. But I put some little clips right there, some butterfly clips. But she got my chain on and she will not take it off. But I didn't, it, and she messed up her shirt, y'all, please. But I didn't see, I didn't notice that the um, little girl had vitiligo. So that is beautiful. You are magic. These are the boots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you look pretty. Pretty, pretty girl. Pretty, pretty girl. <laughs> she love her boot. Come on, turn around so they can see. Turn to the side so they can see you. Go ahead, stop. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> so this is the outfit. what it is but the pants is, is just pretty much the same top and I pulled this part up so that my watch can show and yeah but I'm gonna when I get in a car I'm gonna go get some lashes and I'm going to put some lip gloss on and she have the necklace match but that's it for this video you guys thank you for spending the day and a half with me <laughs> um, I'm about to head over it's 10 30 so I'm doing good on time that gives me time to stop. I'm not even gonna worry about stopping for her hair. But come here so I can fix your shirt. I'm not gonna worry about stopping for her hair um, bowls because it's just no point at this point. It's just like whatever it is, what it is. Your her hair look a mess either way. So, but she getting it done tomorrow. But the good thing is she's not going nowhere today, so it don't even matter. But as always, y'all, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it this little impromptu video. I missed y'all so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. One more thing. She want to show y'all her necklace. So she got her necklace on now to say Kehlani. And let's see your bracelet. Let's see your bracelet. Your bracelet. Yep, your bracelet. Turn your hand over so they can see. Good job. Y'all see. Can't really see. It's not focusing. It's a, it's a Kehlani. <laughs> All right, say bye-bye. <laughs>